Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to be taking on the Labyrinth Ruler, mostly because I'm scared of this man. Wow, his power level is way lower than I thought. Hmm, maybe we take on Pegasus sooner than we thought. No, I still take on Labyrinth Ruler. I, I always have a natural fear of Pegasus from their original game. Uh, Yeah, I need some directions, Labyrinth Ruler. For those of you that are curious, this guy in the original Duels of the Roses was basically the Paradox Brothers. And I'm going to do my best to defeat him. Oh, weird. Okay, this map is not what I thought it would be. I'm not going to lie. Oh, he's... Oh, I like this guy already. Alright, what's your ability? Extend support. We can specific enemy type and create strength. Yep, same old, same old. Hmm... All right, the Labyrinth is going to be rough. Hmm. The Labyrinth is going to be rough. All right, we're just going to just move around for now. We'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> what? Excuse me? Uh, I, I, I do not... I, I, I'm not okay with that. Excuse me, sir, ma'am, person of of interest. Whatever you just did, I'm not about that. I'm I'm not okay with that. You got rid of four equips onto a monster. You should you should be in jail. Labyrinth ruler should be in jail for making a play like that. You go find out what it was. Um, Ukazi's pretty good. Ukazi is pretty good. I'm going to use it as bait at first. I'm not going to use it for offense. I'm just trying to get through his winding labyrinth, which I'm sure he has full advantage over my character while I'm in it. So the closer I get, the more dangerous things will get. Alright, let's just keep moving. You hide in defense mode. Be prepared for death. You can slow that thing down with water. Yeah, you will protect the babiest of dragons. And you will continue to move forward in hopes to find a trap card. 500 burn is amazing, but I, I don't know if I'm going to use that instead of finding a trap card. So you flip. Yep, expected. I'm going to slow it down with water. 1300. Wait. What?! Green Kappa is busted. I remember this card from my 8-player Let's Play. My buddy Rick used this card. It's the one that copies attacks and defense. But why give it a bunch of equip spells? Also, that's an ass. Oh, instant Kamehameha. Not bad. Not bad. I like it. I like it. Really fun to use in Budokai Tenkaichi 3. So yeah, good move. Good move. No disrespect to Kappa, man. Alright, so Green Kappa's very killable. That's the good news. The bad news is I t it takes me with it. With the highest attack power on the field, which is itself at, the mo at this moment in time. So whatever I send after it is a sacrifice. Sacrifice yourself. Oh, it's only when it flips. Okay, well, I've learned something today. It's only when it flips. But I remember it being busted. He used to use that with his Sword Stalker. He had a Warrior deck. It was really good. Um, I want him to tell me what this card is, so I'm going to stay right here. Ukazi, I love the 500 burn, but I'm not going to go for it. I just need to, I need to understand things. Plus, there's too many cards. There's no way these are all monsters. Okay, so that is a monster. What is it, though? Vishwar Roddy. Okay, hi there, Vishwar. Nice to meet you. Well, he definitely doesn't have Mirror Force or anything too dangerous, so let's just take a look. When this card is flipped face up, strength all Succubus Knights by 300. Yep, that card is just like Succubus, is Succubus Knight, so it makes sense. Um, We're going to make something a little bigger. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to just go a little bit bigger. Let's just attack you. So I should be at 2750. 3250. Wow, really? Really? 3250? That's insane. 
Man, that heavy breathing from Aqua Dragon, always strange. The Vishwar was defeated. That Ukazi gave me vital information. Now, I'd love to go into their zone, but it might be a waste of a Sea King Dragon. And I have to make a decision. I think they're going to run this way, so I need to go this way to catch up with them. Aqua Dragon, it's time to start bouncing. I'm going to let you bounce, Aqua Dragon. Don't you worry. Sea King covers their exit. They're running. That's not running. I don't know if I'm worried or not, but that thing not running is strange. Okay, let's take a peek at what I could make. I could guarantee water. Or I could just wait for Snape. Snape is probably the better idea. Aqua Dragon, go find out if they're traps. They're not traps. That's good. Now, he could just walk through the labyrinth, so I have to be somewhat careful. I know, I know all about this guy. Okay, I scared him. Feel like I got him. What? No! He can create more? Oh, I used to have that piece when I was younger. It was so busted. It was so busted. So it's going to be an even longer path, which means I need to send someone on this path as well. And Sea King can't do it since he can't create water. Ah, uh, Mortal probably could do it. Hmm. I need to get rid of some stuff. Look, as much as I want to create new water, we're not going to. Let's just do this. I do not care. I could not care. We don't need more Sea King Dragons. Okay, so you just scare... Uh, I'm Honestly, drag them towards you. It'll be fine. Drag them towards you. Snape Snatch, don't you worry. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get this done. So even if he attacks me directly, screw it. You just get moving. What does that guy do? Oh, this guy responds himself, I think. I, if I'm, I might be wrong, but I think he just responds himself. Either that or he comes right next to me, and that's a problem. Oh, okay. Apparently not. Interesting. Well, at least I created water. Snape Snatch is ready, and I'm ready to get punched in the face if he has the balls to do it. I can't believe he created more Labyrinth on me. Such a cruel tactic. I don't have any Labyrinth uh, dwellers. I could really use one. Getting Zone Eater to the edge of this? Oh my god, that'd be so good. That would be so good. I would find that a, just just beautiful. Um, It actually would make Sea King Dragon a threat, so maybe maybe we'll move him forward. We'll just see what happens. This guy's been playing weak cards. I've been hoping he'd play a Labyrinth card so I can get one into my deck for emergency. So that sword just didn't want to... Oh no, it probably didn't have the range extension, whatever. Doesn't matter, I'm getting, I'm getting Snape Snatch over there. This might bait him into my zone. Who knows? Sea King, your death was necessary. Trust me. What are you doing? Okay. Okay. Until you start walking through Labyrinth, I'm not worried about you. Until that happens, there's nothing to fear. But getting you, Zone Eater, over there would be so good. Until then, I might want to play some stuff just to bait. Thin out my hands. Uh, I mean, I have another Aqua Dragon in my hand. I just don't really want it right now. Let's just set a turtle for now. Turtle. Just a turtle. Alright, and then you attract Sword. Make Sword want to punch you. That is the thing I ask of you. Make the Sword want to punch you. Oh, that's the Ritual Monster! What the hell? Okay, he obviously didn't know about my ability, but I, this is awesome. Garma Sword. Let's take a look. Do you do your six slash attack? Like, hi, hi, what's his name? Hayachi? No, no. Uh, Hachi. Only three? Ah, weak. Aqua Dragon? You got a good close-up of your mouth there. Did not need that. Yeah, I'm afraid my boss monster is better than your ritual monster. And Garma Sword is a ritual in this game. Snape Snatch might be too weak, but that's not the point. The point is, I blocked off one of his entrances now. You know what, let's see what Fiend Sword can do. Plus, Snape Snatch disgusted me in the other episode. Like, I really wanted to throw up, so... I wouldn't mind watching it die. Oh, that's... Gross as well. That's... Oh. Well, we get to see Snape Snatch's true form. Yeah, that's... That's gross. 
That is gross. Alright, well now once my Aqua Dragon pushes through, I'm going to push you into Crush. And then I will crush you. Yeah, because eventually you're going to have to run from me. Which means the Zone Eater plan might not work out the way I wanted it to. No, I could still force it. I could force it to work. Let's move to now. Oh, he does have traps. I thought this guy wasn't going to have traps all of a sudden. Alright, well that's really bad for me. But what I can do is I can get set up my Zone Eater. And then just put him face up right here. And now you're in my domain. The Labyrinth is still yours, but the rest is mine. And Turtle Tiger, just be adorable. Yeah, Aqua Dragon's dead. I can I can see that. I I have eyes. I can see it. And that card is the card Rick used to use. Sword Stalker gets stronger for every card in the grave. So he went up a lot of points, and now he's a threat. Still killable by an Aqua Dragon, but a threat. Luckily, he's not going to get any stronger since he was just flipped. So now I need to play the bait game. And the bait game is going to be you and you. Well, honestly, I can use anything. Use my highest level stuff right now. Yeah, just about anything would have worked. Now, in this, you're at 3250. That's pretty good. And now I'm going to have to send someone to the right, like my Turtle Tiger. Kind of weak, but it'll, it'll go through Crush. And then I'll cut him off afterwards. Right now I'm just going to stand here while I'm in the water. I want to see him just come after me for no reason. Oh, he weakened himself. Good, good job. Yep, the extended range. It only goes so far. Alright, well. I could also make a Twin Head. That would be pretty brutal now that I don't need water. It would be pretty good, but I'm not going to make a Twin Head over there. Not yet, anyway. I will. I will make a Twin Head, just not yet. First things first, we got to destroy Sword Stalker. We're using our extended support range to keep our monster at 3250. And then, what do I want up there? With all the cards I currently have, it's not necessary, so we're just going to move. Uh, I have a Turtle Tiger. We're gonna we're gonna wait. I don't really have anything to use Turtle Tiger with. Turtle Tiger, just move. Amoeba, I will summon you, most likely to kill you. I hope you can you know emotionally accept that. I will try to kill my own Amoeba. I just don't want it on the board. So this guy's just an annoying field. That he's other than that, he's not much. Yeah, let's uh, let's see if he has another trap. Oh, I didn't think he'd. I didn't think he actually would. Oh, well, turns out I should have put my thunder monster up there. I just didn't realize he'd have an air trap. That does surprise me a little bit. All right, reset, reset this up. That was mistaken. I was mistaken. Spike Cedra, thank you very much for helping us out here. Uh, Aqua Dragon, you're great, but we don't need the water anymore. So I just want you to go ahead and set that up. And if they attack you, the Aqua Dragon, you kill them. You kill them with fire. Now, Turtle Tiger, you can keep going around. We'll get there eventually. Amoeba, stay right there. I want to I wanna kill you. All right, so let's see. Aqua Dragon's dead. Oh, why does he have force? Did I just lose? Yep, I lost. Gate Guardian, force. All right, well, that's... Uh, there was no way to win that. Cool that we get to see Gate Guardian, though. One, I did not know that this character would have force. Two, Gate Guardian. Which I honestly could assume he would have, but didn't expect it. Well, hi there. We are just going to have to take this L. That force threw me off 100%. Most busted card in the game. Mere force be damned, force is the most busted card in the game. Sorry, Aqua Dragon, that's the end of that duel. Big shame, but we got to see Gay Guardian, so I'm not even mad. That was kind of cool. God, he's huge. Twinhead wouldn't stand a chance against that. So yeah, if my opponent ever summons Gay Guardian, there's nothing we can do about it. There's not a damn thing we can do about it. It's just, Especially with Force. Without Force, there's still nothing we can do. We don't have equip spells. But that's fine. That is fine. I just need to rush faster next time. But he kept getting traps at the perfect time. It was so annoying. It was like, oh, I finally got to him, and there's a trap card. 
But I did cut off his escape. So let's assume he'll move to the right again. So I'm going to move to the right again. And let's take a peek. This time I got my traps and more importantly, Great Maw. Alright, I will move a trap forward for now. Or I will use Mui and Curry. Yeah, let's, let's do this instead of a trap card. Okay, as long as it's not Force, I do not care. The second we see Force, that could just end the duel. Because it just steals half my life points and then adds it to their attack points. Like, whoever thought of that card, you're an evil person. I want you to know that. Personally, I want you to know I think you're a bad, evil person. I hope, uh, I hope you're okay with that. I'm sure they are. They know who they were. Whoever designed this game, you're evil. Power increases, but this time they're actually spreading them about. That's way smarter. That is way smarter. Okay. Because that four power increases on a card that didn't need to be power increased. That was a little foolish. Great Moth, you're going to be my spy. You're going to tell me everything I need to know. Curry, you're just going to do your best to help me find out what I'm up against. I can make an Aqua Dragon, but I'm going to need to build some levels. Once I build my levels, I can, I can do it. They're all monsters. That's good. I actually prefer monsters. I do not want to deal with spells and traps at this moment in time. Alright, let's... Uh, do, I ex do I go for a bait or do I just go for tears? Hell, tears can be seen as a bait. Good point. All right, you are going to stand right there, and we are just going to see what happens. Let him come to me. Since he seemed to summon only monster cards, let him come to me. All right, let's see what how much power. That's not the scariest card, especially with no Succubus Knights up. That card's playing D, and that's, yep, same play as last time. They're just trying to make it as tedious as possible to get to them. Oh, but this time it removed the Labyrinth right next to it. Okay, thank God. Okay, thank God. That was a much better hit than last time. We can work with this. So right now we just do as much damage as possible since we know that there's nothing there to stop us. Yep. As much damage as humanly possible. Just to get that damage down. I want to kill this guy as, ha as hard as I can. Get revenge for that loss I just suffered. Now, granted, I don't really blame myself for that loss. It, look, Force Gate Guardian, come on. Come on. Who's going to plan for that on your first time fighting in a brand new game? No one. Exactly. So I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I think it's completely fine. Plus, this guy got super unlucky with Labyrinth, so I'm going to take advantage of that. That's probably a trap. I need to pay attention to see if that's a trap. No, they're all monsters, but one's in defense mode. All right, Aqua Dragon, just slide up forward. Don't you worry. You won't need a buff. Uh, I would like to leave you a trap to help you, but nah, you'll be fine. You'll be just fine. And now we're going to do a little bit of a bait play. Normally, I'd like to get Zonier over there, but this is fine, too. This will help my initial assault. So we're just going to play it like this, and then next turn we're going to go in. Because now he knows he can kill that, that zone eater. And then that's when the bait comes in and I go for maximum damage. Alright, knows he can kill zone eater. Baited the green kappa. Green kappa is going to try... And oh, does he lose his effect because he got hit by that? I think he lost his effect. Alright, with his effect gone, I'm feeling pretty good. <clears throat> sea King Dragon is probably strong enough. Probably doesn't need anything else to help it. Alright, let's just throw away some stuff since I drew all my spells and traps. Let's hit you as hard as humanly possible. And that's game. And that is how you beat this opponent, everybody. Fall for their traps and then actually just straight up win because they they summon some weak stuff. Sorry, Green Kappa. Go for the bait plays. What a fun duel. But I'm glad I lost the first one. We got to see Gate Guardian. That's not really a loss. That's awesome. And green cap is worth a pull if I can actually get it. It's 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 worth it. Oh, I can get the labyrinth space. That's that's wild. Up, oh, I did not. Okay, I did. There we go. And nothing else matters, so I'll just get whatever. Yep. None of this other stuff matters. All right, everybody, we got magical labyrinth, which is totally a card worth using in desperate situations. 
So that that was good. That was good. If you want to grind Magical Labyrinth on him, it's probably worth it. All right, he will now guide me. And his gu guidance will take me where exactly? Back to Pegasus. God damn it. Well, we know what next episode's going to be, but for now, let's uh let's uh let's do a little bit of this. Let's save the game. Let's see if we can reincarnate. If we can reincarnate, that'd be really good, but also I just got Magical Labyrinth, so that's pretty freaking good. All right, if I'm going to take out a card for Magical Labyrinth... Oh, I can reincarnate, okay. If I'm going to take out a card for Magical Labyrinth, let's see what my DC stuff is. People are telling me, you need to try and get... Oh, I forgot I have Magic Drain. I should put that in my deck, too. Um, People have been telling me, Cooper, you, you should try to get uh, Spells and Traps by reincarnating Spells and Traps. I should also run this card. I don't know why I don't. But I don't really have a spell and trap that I can... Well, let's see. My equip spell is... Oh, I can use an equip spell. I'll use an equip spell to create an equip spell. Hopefully. So if this doesn't work, I'll just go back to trying to get rare cards. Alright, let's see. Griggle, thank you, thank you. I'd love Griggle. Uh, anything else? Sparks. I love 50 burn as much as the next guy. And Griggle. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate uh, your tips. Great job. All right. Well, Griggle's hilarious. The fact that I got two is even funnier. And Sparks is great. 50 damage. Who doesn't want 50 damage? We're going to need to edit our deck for Pegasus. So planning for Pegasus, we're going to need more spells and trap stuff. Um, Cursebreaker has value. All this stuff has value. Cards that have lost value are the turtle cards. I hate to be the man that has to say that, but I, it is. The turtle cards have lost... Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what just happened there? That was not what I meant to do. I'll have to go back there, but let's get Magical Labyrinth. And let's go all the way down to our most expensive card. Yep, you. Let's see. Fire Eye, am I completely done with you? I think I am. I'm completely done with you. Let's get uh, Manga Ran for this fight specifically. Yep. Might as well take advantage that I actually pulled one early. Uh, sea King Dragon. I'm pretty sure I maxed out, but I threw something out of my deck by accident. I threw Turtle Bird out. Ah, uh, he does have a use, I guess. Kind of high level, but does have a use. Hair Dragon has a similar use, though, and, you know, it's not, not so bad. Yeah, I'm looking at all the cards. Remember when we got Exodia? That was beautiful. Not exactly easy to get all the other stuff, though. That's for sure. Alright. Looking at this, I think I can live with what I currently have. I mean, maybe if I want that Sparks, I can... Oh, let me get that Goblin. Where's the Goblin? It's better than the other one. Yeah, let's just get Goblin in here. Oh, wait. Can I afford... Can he... Is this too expensive now? Because they nerfed him. Or at least they nerfed his stats, so maybe I can't do all this. You know what? I don't need Magic Drain just yet. I think Magic Drain's a little overkill. Let's let's take that out, and then we're guaranteed to be weak enough, no matter what I put in this deck. Oh, let's put... I don't know. I could put another Electric type in my deck. That might come in handy in the long run. Or High Tide? Another High Tide. That's fine. Alright, our deck's 1,092. Is that too much for old Pegasus, or is that more his speed? Let's go find out. Just so that I'm ready for next episode. Pegasus 1109. Perfect. We're just under. So guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the Gate Guardian. Please uh, remember to like and subscribe. Help me get to 100k. And I'll see you all in the next video. Pegasus time, baby.